Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and the community here on COD Zombies HQ. If you guys do enjoy the news today, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more daily updates. Kicking things off with the first story of the day, this one's coming from a huge Zombies YouTuber, NoahJ456, where he posted this to Twitter. He said that, quote, I'm going to miss Treyarch this November. And of course, guys, this November, Infinity Ward releases Infinite Warfare. And this brings up a broader theme that has to do with Infinite Warfare, Zombies, and Infinity Ward themselves. As you guys might have known, Treyarch has always been really supportive of COD Zombies content creators on YouTube. Whether that be inviting content creators to early access events or filming videos with them like this one with Mr. Raffle Waffles and Jason Blundell, no one knows how Infinity Ward is going to handle Call of Duty Zombies and the Zombies community at large. And to be honest, this is probably representative of the large degrees of uncertainty that exists about the future of COD Zombies. And that is, a lot of people are scared that Infinity Ward's version of Zombies won't live up to Treyarch's version. We've seen that in the past with Extinction and other zombie-like game modes that just aren't as good as the ones that Treyarch put out. And a lot of YouTubers are concerned that if that game mode isn't good, it'll contribute to a drop in popularity in Zombies in general, and thus their channels will suffer as a result. I know a lot of people are hoping that Infinite Warfare Zombies will be just as good as Treyarch Zombies, but without Jason Blundell leading the team and the team at Treyarch with so much history with Zombies behind it, people aren't convinced that it will be. Of course guys, we'd have to see more gameplay of Infinite Warfare Zombies before we make any judgement calls or even play the game before that happens, and ultimately we'll have to wait until November to find out. And moving on to the second story of the day guys, this one comes from Reddit user Aggressive Duck, where he actually found the mystery power-up, the Stalingrad Flask asset inside of Der Eisendrach. So we kind of know now that the flask is a reused asset from Der Eisendrach, but what we don't know is how or why that flask spawns in as an object that can be picked up in Gorod Krovi. Now the hunt to solve the Stalingrad flask easter egg continues and we still don't know much about it. Mr. T Lexify, a huge Zombies YouTuber, posted up his theories about the flask on the COD Zombies subreddit. Now, Mr. T Lexify says that him and a lot of people in the community tend to believe that the flask is used to somehow upgrade the monkey bombs without using the gobblegum crate power. He also says that the method to obtain the flask is not understood yet. A lot of people think that it's done by killing zombies around a monkey bomb, or maybe killing enough zombies with monkey bombs, but he said he played a whole bunch of rounds using monkey bombs, trying those two methods, and the flask didn't spawn. Beyond that, he likes if I said that perhaps once you obtain the flask, using the sewer system a few times could quote-unquote fill up the flask, and maybe that has to do with the flowers and candles we've been picking up around the map. Either way, guys, this flask easter egg is one of the most elusive we've had in quite a long time and that makes it quite exciting to be honest. But maybe we'll only get an answer once Gorod Krovi is released on PC, people can dig through the code and discover why this flask spawns and what it does. And moving on to the third story of the day, this one has to do with another possibly undiscovered easter egg on Gorod Krovi, and that is the possible upgrade for the Gauntlet of Siegfried. Now a lot of people are saying that you can upgrade the Dragon Strike, you can upgrade Monkey Bombs using Crate Power, you can upgrade the Shield, there must be an upgrade for the Gauntlet of Siegfried too. Now a lot of people are saying that yeah, there probably is an upgrade for it. And as evidence for that, a lot of people are noticing that the pet dragon on the Gauntlet of Siegfried breathes green flames when shot. Now if you guys notice that when the Dragon Strike is unupgraded, it shoots green flames down from above. But when the Dragon Strike is upgraded, it shoots red flames. So a lot of people are saying that an upgraded Gauntlet of Siegfried would simply shoot red flames from that pet dragon, thus increasing its damage. And maybe like the upgraded Dragon Strike, you can use the Gauntlet a little bit more often. Often, but no steps to upgrade it have been found yet, and a lot of people are saying that, you know what, maybe it's not upgradable in the first place. And they point to the Ragnaroks in Der Eisendrake as a kind of example of a specialist weapon that is unupgradable. I would love to know what you guys think. Is the Gauntlet of Siegfried upgradable? Let me know in the comments down below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the news today. I've left links to my website, Twitter, and Twitch page down in the description. If you feel like following those, they're there for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.